Mushrooms, DMT, mescaline. When you hear those, does it get you scared or, I don't know, excited? California lawmakers seem to be cutting through the stigma, offering a bill that will legalize psychedelic drugs for therapy. All right, let's bring back uh, our panelists. Oregon has done this, and about 700 people used it in 2023. Seems like there weren't any issues. David, are you concerned? No, I'm not concerned as long as it's under medical supervision and it's in a controlled environment. You know, I've got a disease called multiple sclerosis, and I can't get some medications that would work for me because the FDA has put them in a box. I'm all for giving medications that are proven to work under medical supervision. Stephanie. I completely agree with that. I, David, I didn't expect you to agree with that. I'm so happy that you do. But I think that there are a lot of medications that we need to explore. And I agree with David that it's in a controlled environment. And studies have shown that it can help a lot with mental health. And we've got a lot of mental health issues in this country right now. So let's try it. All right. So the other side of the coin is this. The governor says, yeah, in a controlled environment, okay, individual private use, no. Stephanie, do you agree with that? I agree with that because I've never done mushrooms before, but from what I've heard, you kind of go, you could go a little crazy. And so I would rather it be in a controlled environment environment for a medical issue. David? Well, this is not a recreational drug, so why should it be legalized for you to use it at home? This is for people with mental health issues like P PTSD and uh, depression. This has to be used on, in a controlled environment, not at home. And you know, it's interesting you say that because the FDA has not approved this for depression or PTSD, but California says they don't need federal approval. They don't need that. If they want to do it, they'll do it, David. Well, I go back to my comment about the FDA putting uh, medications in a box. I don't know how they come up with what they approve or what they don't approve, but I'm not a big fan of the FDA. Stephanie, 10 seconds, final word, go. Final word is, let's do it. We don't need the federal government to tell us what we can do. Let's try it, California.